This is a, a very exciting time for us here. It's been four years since work on the Winita expansion began, and all the hard work that has gone into the clean energy project is now showing. What was once a huge hole in the ground is now a nearly completed powerhouse, which sits beside the existing Winita Dam on the Ponderé River. What we're doing is using surplus water that's being spilled over the Winita Dam. So all we're really doing is diverting that water and delivering it to this powerhouse and it's actually an environmental benefit. Because of the fact that we're taking advantage of water that would normally be spilled, it will take out the total gas pressure out of the water, which when fish take it in, ingest it, it actually creates a negative effect on fish, similar to the bends in human divers. So it's actually benefiting the environment as well as we're generating clean energy. So it's a win-win. The expansion has grown both in the build and with manpower, going from 150 workers on site in 2010 to the now 400 tradespeople and labourers who contribute to the project. Of those workers, over 70% are local, people living right here within 100 kilometres of the project. And we're really quite fortunate that over 50, 50 of those workers are apprentices. Apprentices give an opportunity to learn the trades, to perfect their skills and to go on to other opportunities. When I started here on site, the hole wasn't even finished being uh, dug yet and uh, so I've seen this uh, from the first concrete all the way through to uh, what it is here today. It's quite nice to have uh, such a uh, neat project this close to home and being able to see it from start to finish. My number one resource are the people. And I think that these workers are working very hard for us because we care about them and uh, we want to be sure that they're safe and they know that. They know that's a priority. They know that we're serious about that. So we've got a heck of a good crew. We're proud of our crew. We've got some great people here, great workers here and we're extremely proud of that. And from the 85 ton water wheels to the immense feeder tunnels, it's apparent to see that the $900 million expansion really is a marvel of modern engineering. What you're looking at here is one of the tunnels that's going to deliver water to that water wheel that we installed and is going to drive the generator. Now these tunnels are over 230 meters long and they're 10 and a half meters in diameter. We're really proud of the the contract did this job, they did a great job building this tunnel. The Winita expansion is on schedule with the target completion date early in 2015. Basically, once this project's complete, it's capable of generating up to 335 megawatts of clean hydroelectric power. And that's enough to power almost 50,000 homes, so that's a considerable amount of power. When this project is complete, you'll be able to see the powerhouse in the background, but certainly you won't see all of the equipment and all of that around. What we'll be able to do is simply appreciate the fact that we're generating clean energy here, and, and we are looking forward to seeing, seeing uh, power being generated here in the spring of 2015. For Go Kootenays in Trail, I'm Christina Krichkowski.